Okay. So it's not important that you follow the contents of what I'm doing, because that's all Android code. If you have experience with it, it makes sense. If you don't, it doesn't matter, because I'm not here to teach you how to write an Android app using Android Studio. What I want, I want you to see is how much this is strictly copy and paste from the Java. Um, those are our resources. Now I'm going to do a build because I want the compiler to go through and find all of those and it actually generates a set of constants so that I can have IntelliSense to find all those resources and not have to remember what they are. That's okay. I took away a resource that it's looking for. Okay, so this is our code. Let me get a little bit of space here. This is the code that's, that comes out of the template. I don't want to use it. I'm going to replace this with the code from our Java app, which is here. Now, normally, kind of when I was putting this together, I copied all this in the comments in the Visual Studio, but we don't really have a lot of real estate for you to see that in, this, in the code window. So let me take just the pieces we need and I'll explain it along the way. This method will be called every time the, the view, the, think of it as a form or the window is created. We don't really need to make any changes from what's standard in the template except to delete the extra code. See, there's it calls the base, it sets the content view, and this is going out and it's going that XML file that we just copied in to define the page. And I'm going to get rid of this because this is part of the Hello World. So there's no more code. Now all I need to do is bring in this one method here. This on resume. Now that's Java. I'm not going to paste it directly because it'll give me a whole bunch of errors. So I'll put that into a comment. And then we'll just rewrite this as C sharp, exactly as it is functionally, just different syntax. So, waiting for my IntelliSense to show you. There you go. You'll see all of the traditional .NET naming conventions are used in Xamarin. So, in Android. The Java world, everything starts with lowercase letters instead of starting with the uppercase letter like we're used to in .NET. So it's all changed. So if you're going to literally copy and paste or if you've got like a Java to C-sharp translator, some of those things will break because you've got to change the names. Um, some of it you'll want to change. For example, you see the line down here that I'm copying? Instead of casting uh, the, re the object that gets returned by find view, Xamarin makes nice and intelligent use of .NET generics. So I can have it already come back in the correct correct type. Also, you'll notice kind of a naming convention in Android. We have this R dot, which is where we get the resources. Dot net, we tend to spell things out, be a little more verbose, so everything is resource dot. Get an ID. And you should see there's my web view. 
Okay? Now, the important thing to notice here is this line here is C sharp. This line is Java. And except for it looking more C sharp ish, it is exactly the same line of code. And you can go through an entire complex Android application. Um, I actually took our MacroPoint application and almost in its entirety. Um, there were some issues that I had with some background services, but I, I found an online Java to C-sharp converter, copied the code in, pasted it out, and it, it compiled. Some of the background stuff didn't work right, but it actually worked functionally. So, and that was a sophisticated app with geo-tracking, uh, uh, a lot of web service calls. So let me get this uh, add in our Okay, so that takes care of those lines. Now, in Java, how many of you are also Java developers? Some of you, a few of you. Um, the, the way the anonymous uh, types are, are built up in line here, you'll see it. I find to be a little clunky. I mean, if you if you are primarily a Java developer, you might say the .NET way is strange. But um, I find you'll see we can we can use both with Xamarin. They support both approaches. So if you're doing a copy and paste, you can do it kind of the, the Java way, um, or you can do the, the what I think to be clean and and a more elegant C sharp approach. So I'll get get my button first. And then we're gonna we're gonna add this this uh, <coughs> listener to it. So you can't even see it all. You'll find this kind of code a lot in an Android solution. Set on click listener. And then in there you're actually constructing an anonymous type that override or, or derives from this on click listener interface and then implements an event handler. Gets real messy, uh, real confusing quickly. And you could do that with Xamarin. It'll support that. Or you can say Just like you're used to. Uh, I don't like. You could do it in line too. That's my preferred approach. But anyway. okay. And we can do the non-generic. capitalize things. And of course, I don't have to do set.
Following what I did there, I was just turning Java into C sharp. It's all exactly the same, functionally, same code. Now let's see if that builds. Questions, thoughts, donations for a fax machine. <laughs> Would you recommend uh, the use of Xamarin for like new projects? Well, you know, convert, converting like Android to C sharp is one thing, but what about new projects? Like, what, is there any I'm, incentive for a new project? I would probably look at the Xamarin forms right off the bat. Okay. Um, this stuff is great for taking an existing project and making it run. Now it's C sharp, but if you already have a working Android app in Java. I'm not sure what the real benefit is you're getting by just porting it unless, you know, like in our case, we're, we're a shop full of C-sharp developers and no Java developers. Right. So one guy bites the bullet and does the conversion and then everybody yeah. else can join in to right. actually maintain the, the source of the code. Okay, so I'm going to run this. What's that? You have to get the one code base for, for supporting your iOS, our iOS, and our Android app, and especially Windows. Right. So that's the other value to it. Um, I'm running this without the debugger because the debugger adds to the performance drag. Starting to deploy. I should be letting you watch the logs so you can see what's happening. There you go. <coughs> this is the this was Java. Event handler, you see my name up there. This is a typical. Oh, I just swiped up and closed the app instead of scrolling up the web view. But um, if we're, we're running low on time, but if you wanted to sit around and wait for it to build again, we could actually do the same thing in iOS, and then you'd see that in, uh, in Android, it's going to use all the native Android widgets, text boxes, um, the, what are the apps, it's, I don't know if I have a version, okay, I don't have my, the, on the Android, but on my simulator here, Okay, this is, this is my Xamarin Forms solution, which is also on GitHub. Um, the iPhone version, I just want you to see that it's got the iPhone looking controls, okay? If you go and you look at, now you can't see, I don't, I don't have enough real estate for you to see, but 
can you kind of see the time picker down there? Yeah. yeah. If you get if you if you run this same app on Android, you get the Android looking time picker. Time picker. Um, if you run it on Lollipop, you'll get the new Lollipop, the really cool looking uh, daytime picker. So, and all of that is with exactly the same code that you use, you know, on all the other platforms. So, I was going to walk you through the other the, the Xamarin Forms solution too. It's much bigger, much more complicated. It takes much longer to build. Um, all of this ran really nice and fast when I was building it on my desktop and over the network to the MacBook. But uh, do you have any questions? Um, let me show you the GitHub so you can. Well, I'm not on the internet. Um, Anyway, that's the URL. That's it. Can you see that? C L E D O T N E T. It's just got two repositories in it the uh, Android source code and the Xamarin Forms. Feel free to poke around at it, play with it. Um, there is a bug in the iOS side of the Xamarin Forms one, so if you find the bug and fix it, let me know. And uh, you get bonus points for that. Um, oh, let me, uh, I do have my final slide to give you my contact information if you want to write that down. Um, okay, it did something funny with the screen there. I've got presenter view We're going to the two screen. Uh, the, those are a list of issues that I've found. Everything's fragile. Uh, you do lots and lots of rebuild alls because starting with a rebuild all is the only way you get back to a known good state. When you get pieces and parts out of sync with each other. Um, you, when you pull down the slides, here's some links to some courses that I found helpful. Uh, there's my contact info if you want to write that down. Get that with me. I think otherwise, should you get another piece of pizza? Some Coke or something? Do I end with a song or something? <laughs> I don't know. Thank you.